Hello, this is channel Easy Self Host. In this video, we are going to host a writing tool. You can also call it a knowledge management app. We are going to use the open source project Silverbullet, which is a web app that lets you write and manage your content in Markdown. I personally like its simplicity and some cool features, and I'll show you later. First, let's get started to run it on our server. We are still going to use Docker Compose like before. And this is the Docker Compose file we are going to use this time. First, we need to declare the Docker network for our proxy server to find the app. Next, we are going to use the official Silver Bullet image and map the data directory. I assume you've run a proxy server following my proxy server video. If you haven't, you can just uncomment this section to run the proxy server. Or you can go to the proxy directory in the same repo and run it there. Next, let's use SSH to connect to our server. You can either run it home or on the cloud. On the server, let's create a directory to store our data for the Silverbullet app. Then let's go to the directory that has our docker compose file and use the command docker compose app to run our app. Wait for a while and our Silverbullet server will be running. Then let's go to the Nginx proxy manager we've set up before. And here we create a new proxy rule for our Silverbullet server. We need to set up a domain name. I'm using my home server domain as the base. And we should forward this to the hostname Silverbullet and use the port 3000. And we're also going to enable HTTPS using the certificate that we set up before. Now the setup is done and we can go to our Silverbullet app. Here is our default index page. You can go through the introduction here and clear the content. Let's create a new page by using this prompt. In this page, we can type some content using Markdown and save the page using the familiar keyboard shortcut command or control S. One thing I like about Silverbullet is that it saves all your content in Markdown as is in this directory, which makes it very easy to backup and transfer all the content to other platforms. And since the server is the single source of truth of all the content, you won't face the synchronizing issue you got from other non-server solution. Silverbullet is not just a Markdown editor. It has some other cool features. For example, you can generate content by include other pages and then use the refresh command. It will bring all the content here. You can also generate content by querying from a data source. For example, you can query all the task entry from a page and it will generate a table of all the tasks. Silverbullet also has a plugin system. To install a plugin, you can open the plugs page. Here, you can declare plugins using a YAML code block. Let's try a plug called Mermaid, which is a tool to render flowchart. Then you run update plug command, and then your plugs will be installed and updated. Let's go back to our draft page and write some flowchart description. It's a code block in Mermaid language. It will render a nice looking flowchart here. There are a lot of other plugs you can play with. Though that Silverbullet project is still in development mode, so it lacks some basic feature you may expect. For example, it doesn't have proper authentication or any multi-user support. I'll show you how to use self-hosted authentication to work around this. But overall, it's still a good product for personal use. That's all for this video. Please consider subscribing for content like this. You can find the Docker Compose file on GitHub and the link is in description below. Thank you for watching.